guys, welcome to this week's episode of Vinny's Vittles. This week, we start our new series on tailgating foods. Some of the favorite things that we like to eat, because football season, is here. Roll Tide. You might not agree with that, but that's all right, too. Anyway, we're going to be making up some of the our favorite tailgating recipes. This week, we're going to try something new that I hadn't tried. We were at a, a convention a couple of weeks ago, and May May had something called a... Um, Koneka sausage cheese dip kind of thing. That's how she described it anyway. So I got to looking around. I couldn't find a single recipe that I really liked, so I took some ingredients from two or three different ones and put it together, and we're going to see how it turns out. You guys know I'm not an official chef or anything. I'm a fixer-upper. I'm going to put her together. So we're going to see what happens when we try this recipe, and we're going to call it a cheesy Koneka sausage dip. So let's get started today, all right? All right, so let's talk about the ingredients that are going into our recipe. We're going to have some mayonnaise. We're going to have some sour cream. We're going to have some cream cheese, some Worcestershire sauce, some garlic powder, some diced onion, some green chili, some cheese, and Koneka sausage. Now, you might not be familiar with Koneka sausage because it might not be available in your area, but it's basically a smoked sausage. So you can use any brand that you have to try this out, but Koneka just happens to be our favorite, and it's made here right in Alabama. All right, guys, we're going to, first thing we have to do is we have to brown the smoked sausage. So we're going to do that now. You know my induction topper makes a lot of noise, so I'm going to do that off camera, but we're going to go ahead and start browning the uh, smoked sausage. Now it takes a whole pack of smoked sausage, about 16 ounces. Hey guys, we're browning up the smoked sausage. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes for that to brown up good. Now, I've got a plate with just a paper towel on it for us to get and uh, drain the grease off of it. Good. I'm going to use a slotted spatula so that I can get as much grease to drip off before I ever put it on the napkin. I wish you guys could smell how good this smells. My man made it right now. It smells like Koneka sausage. All right, now that we've finished browning uh, the smoked sausage, we're going to start mixing in our other ingredients. So we're going to start with the cream cheese. We're going to add that in, and then we're going to add the uh, sour cream in with that. Once we've had this added in, I'm going to take my little portable mixer, and we're going to combine all this up together. So this might be a little loud. Now you're just going to blend this together good. Once you get it blended together, we're going to start adding some of the other ingredients. All right, now we're going to add the mayonnaise. Now, I like Duke's mayonnaise, but you can use whatever kind you like. Once we get that added, then we're going to add in the cheese. Now we're going to mix that together real good. All right, now we're going to add in the Worcestershire sauce the garlic powder, the green onion, not an onion fan, but you got to use it sometimes, and the green chilies. Man. I believe this is going to be good. And we're going to combine all that together. All right, so don't over mix it. Just kind of combine it together real good. Once you get all those ingredients put together, you're going to add the sausage that you drain back into the mixture. Now, we're just going to combine that just a little bit. Okay, guys, we've got all of our ingredients combined together. Now, what you want to do is cover it with some cling wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and let it chill for about two hours before you serve it. Then, once you let it chill, you're just going to put it, take it out, add it to a tray, and serve it either with tortilla chips or Fritos or corn chips. You might even like it on a Ritz cracker. I bet that would be incredible. But I had an idea. Tell you what, before I put this in here, let's try my experiment. Do you guys like jalapeno poppers? Woo, I love jalapeno poppers. And I was thinking, this served in a jalapeno wrapped in bacon? stuck in the oven for just a few minutes might be outstanding and I'm gonna give it a try 
right here on Benny's Vittles and let you see it firsthand. It's a real simple process. You just take a jalapeno, and what I did is I cut the jalapenos in half, then I took a spoon and just got all the interior out, all the seeds, all the stuff that's inside it so that I just have the outside hull. Then we're gonna take a little bit of the dip. We're gonna add it right in the middle of that crack. Put it on there good, and we're gonna take a piece of bacon, and this is the tricky part, and a little messy. We're gonna wrap it around, and you're just gonna keep wrapping it and shaping it and doing your best to cover up the whole jalapeno with that piece of bacon. Now what I did is I cut the bacon in half. So I got half pieces here. So hopefully that's gonna work out good for you too. Then you take the toothpick and just run it through. And once you do that, you put it on your pan. And you can see I got quite a few already done. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish stuffing these. And once I get them finished stuffing, we're gonna put them in the oven. Now we preheated the oven to about 350. We're gonna put them in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until the bacon is just like you like it. You might wanna check them, you know, cause some people like their bacon more crispy than others. And then we're gonna try them and I know they're gonna be good. Hey guys, we're back. They are out of the oven. They have been sitting here for a little while to cool so I could taste them. They look amazing and I'm very anxious to just chomp down on one. The dip has been chilling and it looks incredible too. So I'm gonna try the dip first. And then we're going to come back and try the pot. Mm, can't wait. I'm excited. Here we go. Mm. Wow, the dip is so rich. The flavor is so powerful when you bite into it. You can taste the kaneka. You can taste the cheese. The mayonnaise gives it a little bite, too. It is amazing. You guys are definitely going to love that. Now let's try the jalapeno popper. Remember, jalapeno with this dip, spread in the middle, wrapped in bacon, cooked in the oven for about 30 minutes or till your bacon is crispy enough. This might could have gone 35 and I've been happy because I like mine pretty crispy. Let's see what it tastes like. Jalapeno's up. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's good stuff right there. Perfect tailgate food. You will love it. The pepper is not too spicy. We got a great flavor. Amazing. You're going to love it. You got to try this. All right, guys, that wraps us up for this week's episode of Vinny's Vittles. We had a great time fixing a couple of great tailgate recipes. I hope you enjoy them. Be sure to let us know what you think about them, either on our Facebook page or comment on YouTube and let us know what you think. If you're not subscribed to Vinny's Vittles, make sure you do it. Just click that little red button and subscribe. And give me some thumbs up if you like it. We'll have a good time together each week on Saturdays at noon. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for visiting with us. We'll see you next time on Vinny's Vittles.